we want to simplify the given square root expressions. The first expression is the square root of 5 sevenths. This is not considered simplified because we cannot have a fraction under a square root. However, we can rewrite this as the square root of the numerator divided by the square root of the denominator. The square root of 5 sevenths is equal to the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 7. But this is also not simplified because we cannot have a square root in the denominator. And notice how it doesn't simplify. In order for the denominator to simplify perfectly, we would have to have two factors of seven under the square root, which means to simplify, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of seven. By multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the square root of seven, we are not changing the value of the expression, we are just changing the form. So multiplying, we now have the square root of five times seven divided by the square root of seven times seven. And notice how now the denominator simplifies perfectly. The square root of seven times seven, or seven squared, simplifies to one factor of seven. The simplified expression is equal to the square root of 35 divided by seven. And now for the second example, we have 12 divided by the square root of 18. To eliminate the square root from the denominator, we could multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 18. But notice in this example, we could simplify the square root of 18 first. So let's begin by simplifying the square root of 18. If we look at the prime factorization of 18, 18 is equal to two times nine, which is equal to two times three times three. And notice how the square root of three times three or three squared simplifies to one factor of three. The square root of 18 simplifies to three square root two. So we can write the original expression as 12 divided by three square root two. In this form, notice how the numerator and denominator share a common factor of three, or because 12 divided by three is equal to four, we can simplify this to four divided by square root two. But this is still not simplified completely because, again, we cannot have a square root in the denominator. So now let's simplify four divided by square root two. To eliminate the square root from the denominator, we would need two factors of two under the square root, and therefore we now multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of two. Again, this does not change the value, it only changes the form of the quotient. So multiplying, we have four square root two divided by the square root of two times two, and the square root of two times two of the square root of four simplifies to one factor of two, giving us four square root two divided by two. But notice four divided by two is equal to two. The final simplified expression is two square root two. I hope you found this helpful.